Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, I'm driving down the road here, and, um, I was hearing on the radio something about the iPad Mini or something, and the announcement came out for the iPad Mini, along with some other stuff or whatever, um, like a week ago, and now everyone's talking about it, and there's a lot of people that say iPad Mini is worthless because it's not really big enough to be a full-on tablet but it's too big to be like a pocket-sized thing like an iPod it's just right in the middle and a lot of people don't like that but a lot of people like the idea because it's bigger than an iPod so it's easier to read um, you know just things show up bigger or whatever but it's not as big as a full-size iPad so, you know, you can fit it in your coat pocket easier, um, you know, things like that, basically. Um, I don't even know where I was going with this video. I did, I did like, VW Darren, and I just kind of turned the camera on. But, basically, I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts. So, would I buy an iPad Mini? Yes, if I had three hundred and fifty dollars of spending money, yeah. Um, right now, I'm actually saving up for a MacBook Air um, because I need a new laptop. Um, it looks pretty, you know, pretty good. And once I get a new laptop, um, I can start doing more videos, um, especially with the regular camera. This is just my iPhone, so it's kind of like you know. I can do videos, but it's harder to edit them and whatever, you know. And then I can't use the phone or anything while it's uploading, and yeah. But, uh, no. If I had 350 bucks and I wasn't really saving up for anything, um, or if I was making really good money, I'd buy one in a heartbeat. Because it looks like a really cool idea, you know. Um, it's... Like, I had an iPad 1, right? And I know it's outdated or whatever, but it's the same size as the iPad, or full-size iPad now. And it was nice and everything, don't get me wrong. But when I took it out and stuff, and, you know, it was just... It was like carrying a textbook, right? And nobody likes carrying a textbook. Not really weight-wise, but just size-wise. iPad Mini... Um, it's just so much smaller, you know, it's like if you, if you take a magazine and wrap it, or fold it in half, that's about the size it is, right? And I just like that idea because I don't need a huge screen, right? And at the same time, sometimes my iPhone is just too small if I'm reading directions or something, um, and there's, like, multiple steps, my three-inch screen on my iPhone doesn't work as good as an eight-inch screen would. But a ten-inch screen would just be overkill, right? So, that's just kind of that, you know? And, you know, the iPad Mini, it just seems like it'd be better for iBooks, too, and... Maybe not for movies, maybe not for hardcore gaming, but honestly, I got Netflix on my Xbox and stuff, and I'm not really a gamer, so those two things won't really affect it too much. And the little bit of gaming I did, and the little bit of Netflix I did on it, I think Netflix is available in the App Store, um, wouldn't justify me spending the extra money on an iPad or a full-size iPad. And that's another thing, you know, um, you kind of got to look at the size to price ratio. What are you getting for the money that you're spending? Okay, for $350, it's $330. I'm just saying $350 because you're going to spend at least that with taxes. For $350, you get an iPad mini, 16 gig um, does everything a full-size iPad does just a little bit smaller okay for an extra what is a hundred and thirty dollars or something you get a base full-size iPad two inches bigger 
does all the same stuff. Is two inches worth an extra hundred dollars? To some people, yes. To me, no. Okay. Um, you know, this is a it's a religious war. It's just like Windows or Mac or iOS or Android. Everyone's gonna have a different opinion on it. But in the long run, I think an iPad Mini would work for everybody. And I think an iPad full size, because it's not like an iPad 2 anymore, but like a full size iPad would work for anybody too. It's not whether or not it works, it's what you prefer. Because it's the same general device, just scale down a little bit, okay? Experience is still pretty much the same because the formatting in mobile websites on an iPad mini is going to format exactly the same as it does in a full-size iPad, right? So, um, that's just my thoughts right now. You know, I did what Darren does. I just, I'm sitting here, I'm bored, waiting for work to start, and, you know, I heard that on the radio, and I just clicked the camera, and I pretty much started talking. You know, whatever. It's not like I get views anyways, so it doesn't matter if my videos are pointless. No, but those are my opinions, and um, eventually I think I will probably be buying one. Um, probably not any time in the very near future, because I, like I said, I want a MacBook Air more so I can start doing more videos and do a little more editing with them and use a real camera and stuff. But, no, so... That's all for this video. I'm sitting here. I'm actually down the street from work. I'm at the mall. But, um, uh, they don't like it when I sit at work to wait for it to start. So I'm just down here. But, so yeah. I'll see y'all in the next video. Rate, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. See you guys.